training mutusaze mu training training ya manyi nyo ateranga nunji nyo so we nako re sande omwagizi wa ngali eyo omwagizi wa motocross wa pichi pichi zempaka asubire muliro kuno siku zanya yegundi esemba yo mwaka ba champion ngafe otugendo balagira chichi chetu inawo buli jotu vuga nenga lobo twesigalize mabega ne kuluno buli kakoni kwagenda kuvayo eransa si dabade mu kirasi yange muri majef kayira one murengede ko wano waliwo ba uri waliwo gayo ba mita ashafu mbaba mbasaside muri mamileti bonna bonna buli joba mpita ko nenga netege kedene semba yo bafude kirasi jende mu vuga vets ebigende rurabi yange ndaka kubera champion na kayinga nyingido kuno mwaka na ye kiraze nti bensanzemu nebuza buli joba kola chi batambula butambuzi bata badusa bigere kubanga nzengezo okujanga bavugadda nebo namba yitako buyisi ne nebuza omuzanyo guno gwali gwafira wa bavets buli bavuga bichi nagendo kujoininga abamu bata ndiko kulwala jeff kayira yarwale vivi era ye kwa sambo sikira kwa training sikenda kuvuga twina vetu wa form ya tuvako ku mazo mkuru jankicha au mulemi rembe na yate chinyiga nyo kubanga zenda mtaka ku pressure mwatu wa reka li season mtaka ku pressure kwa watu pichinaji kuberi na ye mkama watu wa yagida na yu kuna bana basiga dem bafu de nze mba gamba ilama gezi gemba wagu ngwa limu vetsi jafu kaira ashira fumbabazi ba mireti ba onalebo akena uruna kwa urumu kirize atisuko muruwale mvuge mpola mpola kubanga njaba taka ku pressure mwenda atena mpichizi wa kwezi wa menye ya maguru atena ya kaja mwetejicha ayunga ze mbiru jerom ndi mu 85 cc ya abawagzi wangi mba suvi zanti kuresi njaba kola chene sobo la kufune chifo cheni no kufuna Chaka, temba dem challenges zama ni just temba dem bisoto. Nenge la mso bifuga. My name is Ali Chimela Semano Ajim. Ndi prepared for this race. Ela, pichi yangi wagenda jite kaku service this week. By next weekend course, wagenda banga eina manji manji nyo. Ela, I'm very sure that Nanda Quat, I'm number one. Today is basically the last weekend we have to train for our last event for the calendar year of 2023. So um, our calendar will end next weekend. Then we have the Central African Championship in December to close out the year. But for the National Championship, the last event is coming next weekend. So I've been on the track to basically see how the track is, how the preparations are, and to check my own uh, fitness before the event. My class category, there are not very many, and these are riders over 50 years old. There are a few of us who ride at that level. But I expect there will be a lot of competition, especially in the junior classes. There we have plenty of riders who, who are pushing um, quite seriously and trying to um, enhance. Although some positions are being sorted out, there are some which are still going on. So you expect the best from our youngsters. Because also they're using this event to prepare for the Kenyan um, Central African Championship in December. Preparations are at uh, high gear. Uh, you can see we the riders are practicing. The truck was uh, not ripped to the full, but there has been some work done on the truck to enable practice. Um, we also have uh, made several correspondence to the relevant bodies, informing them about this event. Uh, all the formalities have been done. We are only now waiting for the actual day of the event. Yeah. Competition uh, is going to be high. Yes, it's the last one, but there are stakes. Uh, when you look at uh, MX, uh, the, the 50 juniors, uh, you have yeah, Helena is already, you know, but then you have Alba, 
and uh, Ariel Akatende. These ones are going to tussle it out for the second and third position. When we come to the 50 seniors, uh, Jude Kyle, yes, has done a very good job. The whole season is doing very well, but Jamai Rakmakumbi is also on his net. So between the two, we will get the champion at the end of that uh, event. When we come to the 65, very interesting. Jonathan Katende, the young brother to Miguel Katende, is leading with an, a 58-point gap. So uh, we are going to see a very nice uh, event, a very nice race for 65. Jonathan, since he came from Cape Town, when we were in Cape Town, when he did very well in Cape Town, he didn't stop there. All the races, he has been taking on his brother, and he's very consistent. Bad luck, uh, MX6, uh, 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 Miguel had issues with his bike, but that is no excuse. So we are going to see a very nice uh, race for 65, but as the two are tussling it out, we have uh, Mitima is also at their back. So we are going to have a very nice uh, uh, rest uh, on the 65. When we come to the 85, Gift Sabuguzi undisputed. He's already done. Nobody can beat him. He's already declared more or less uh, the champion for 2023. But we have uh, Jeremy Mobiru and Ronnie Young. These ones are going to tussle it out. There are a few points in between. End of the two can be number two, can be number three. But even then, we also have Dan Mitima. He's also behind their heels. So we are going to see a very interesting race in the 85. When we come to the 125, Apollo Milton uh, Bote, Akaki, is already uh, a champion. However, we have uh, Walid, and then uh, we have Jamari uh, Mawanda. Those ones are going to tussle it out to know who is going to be number two, number three. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, MX, uh, MX2, uh, we have Jordan, uh, we have uh, uh, Michibi, they're also going to tussle it out, we'll see a very nice game. When we come to MX1, uh, Fatuchi Gondo, who's leading with 269 points, we have uh, Van P, Maxine Van P, who's number four, 233 points. So you can see the, the gap. Number one and number four. That means all the four are in today. We are going to see Is Isma Mchibi this time. And uh, yes, let's expect a very interesting uh, MX2, MX1 on that very day.